What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Don Kaluminati back with another video. All right. <clears throat> so the last video that I did was on the uh, keys to the universe, right? You know what I mean? We got all excited and got all crazy and all that, right? But I had to take part two down because of uh, just let's just put it this way: weird activity. All right. The moment I I start experiencing any kind of weird activity, I don't care if it's in the real world or social media or whatever. Certain things gotta just come down, man. Like I, I notice patterns and stuff like that. So I said, well, you know what? Something in my spirit was a little bit uncomfortable because I was just rolling. I was just rolling, and I was just like, you know what I'm saying? Um. You know, it doesn't take away from anything that I said or whatever, but I don't I don't know if we are ready for that. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Can't be get up on the podcast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you do that when you wake up. So that's just me waking up. Hello, how y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we'll we'll get into that. Um we'll talk about the keys to the universe. I might have to do a different part too. You know what I'm saying? And I wanna bring I want to bring a little bit of um, uh, beef with that that topic as well, because I think I might mesh it a little bit. Nah, well, somewhat, because I was going into two different uh, things there, and um, you know, one was about the blood suckers, and then the other was, uh, like I said, about you know Christ being the keys to the universe and stuff like that. I mean, I could sit there and talk about this all day long, but we definitely have other things that are, um, you know more important at hand and um what our jobs is right now to be moving in the spirit you see what i'm saying so what we're supposed to do is be tapped in right now we're supposed to just be moving in the spirit um like i said if you if you're able to get some of that isolation time get that um and speak over your body like i was saying too um you know allow the spirit to renew your mind speak it over your mind you know you know in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit you know i demand his body to be renewed I, I demand my mind to be renewed you know my heart my spirit my soul my everything you know what i'm saying because um like i said before these is going to be the times we're going to need that as you can see behind me i know i got a um the, it's, the, it's the good vibes campaign man so that's where we at with it you know the last time i did a so-called video in quote unquote this room it was i was doing the, the cloning cloak thing and it was me and my other my clone you know what i'm saying and um that wasn't really in here <laughs> so for y'all that was watching that <clears throat> i know y'all probably got confused you probably thought i was really in this room i haven't been in this room in a while that was green screen that i was on that was in this room but this this the real room though this the real room this time though you can see me touch the wall hold up Okay, just to let you know, it ain't, it ain't nothing back there, all right? I mean, this is this is the real deal. I mean, I'm in, I'm in the actual studio. So what I did before was I just recorded a clip of this studio. Just, you know, because you can see the, the stars and everything like that glimmer as well, as you can see. I'll tilt that back a little. You see how they glimmer? So there's moving objects in here. You got the, the you know I mean, the TVs and stuff like that, and then... You know, at the different positions, at different angles, you can see different things and stuff like that. And then I can just go to different sides or whatever. But at the same time, um, I had to do the video of it because I had to keep the same movement in there. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just really creative with all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool to have a podcast for them. Um, I have a movie theater. I'm working on another movie theater over here. So um, this is the bedroom theater. Downstairs in the basement is that you probably seen me that before was a studio theater so i can i do videos in there and everything like that too big screen is right in my face yeah you don't really see that part because i'm usually sitting back you know what i'm saying in the speaker booth you know what i'm saying that i got it's like a stage movie theater stage and all that so it's kind of it's kind of cool when i can um go in one room and on this big ass green screen this big ass green screen 26 foot green screen and then make the make the shows go right into the next show and watch on a big screen. You dig what I'm saying? And then I got another um, spot for the studio downstairs in the basement. Because I'm telling you, that this whole crib, before I'm done, this this whole crib is in the same house. Dog, I'm almost finished, bro. And when I'm done, I'm going I'm to really show, I'm going I'm to just go through the crib. Like, I know y'all niggas seen MTV Cribs and it's nice. 
you know, when people got big mansions and nice big plaques and all this and that and the third. But it ain't nothing like having a universal studio, nigga, like your own crib. Like everywhere you go is just a, a booth, a studio, a theater, or whatever the hell it is. You understand what I'm saying? To where I can just post up, uh, do video content, record. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Like, like look. Um, I've been eating peaches all day, bro. I'm walking around the crib. I'm like, yo, man, this this is my little piece of heaven right here, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm in space right now, bro. Like, if I really want to do something, I go downstairs, get on the stream, hop in there, get on my UFO. You know what I'm saying? We out, boom, come close with it. Just imagining some stuff as I'm going, you know what I'm saying? Just, boom, there it is. And, you know, and God knows, God knows that, um, that I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I don't worship nor idolize the uh, technology that we got out here. But um, at the same time, God knows that I'm intrigued. Uh, you know, he knows that I'm interested in those type of things. And, you know, don't get it confused because I do want to let y'all know. <sighs> God, he's a very, uh, this is, I, I don't want to say it like that to y'all because I'm going to think crazy. But I want to say scientific, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, who do you really think created all these things? You understand? You don't think that he likes it? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's only use it for his benefit of his glory or whatever. But we know how Satan tried to utilize all these things. I mean, these things go so much further than this. Dog, this is so... This is so on a lower level than what God has actually given us. You know what I'm saying? He's given us uh, abilities and capabilities to see and do certain things. So, like, this... You know, y'all think it's cool to be on the phone or, oh, man, how does Wi-Fi work? But, bro, that's that's nowhere near having that. Mm, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You can teleport and go see somebody. You know what I'm saying? Mm, you know what I mean? So, like, this ain't really nothing. You know what I'm saying? It, this is the smaller end of a craft if you if you want to if you want to say anything. You know what I mean? If you uh, look at it on the uh, on the whole scale of things. But um, it's bigger, bigger things and bigger pictures in the play that's going down right now. Um, we got to start uh, operating how we're supposed to be moving. We got to keep our light shining at this very moment because, my, mind you, there's very many people watching. You. There's people watching you. I mean, you might think that we think that we be watching other people sometimes. And even in those moments, we're being probably watched by like multiple individuals so at all times we're supposed to be showing a certain light and those devils are out there watching too you know what i'm saying and i'm telling you they they checking on you and um they clocking you man they clocking you just call them the clockers we're gonna call them clockers right now when we see them clocking you know what i mean because they trying to make sure you're doing your work because if you start slipping that's when they're gonna come up like ah yeah yeah i found me a sucker you hear me so I'm telling you, man, like that's that's exactly how the demons is operating um, because negative energy is definitely attached to negative energy. You know what I'm saying? So think about like if you take the, um, the magnet, a magnet is like negative, right? And then if you draw it across the screen of like say an LCD or whatever, something that has negative and positive cells in it or whatever, you'll notice if you drag that magnet across the screen all the negatives it'll go black the screen will turn black and it'll go back but it turns black because um it's it's showing you the negative cells it's the negative cells are following that that magnet and that's what you become you know what i'm saying in real life when you out here with negative energy on you and and the thing is vulnerability counts too that's the that's the bad thing about this and this is the reason why um you know, they're going to try to sell fear, right? But they're also going to try to sell vulnerability. This is why they. This is why oppression has worked so much on our people. Because that that is negative energy. And with that negative energy, you, you're you not manifesting anything. Just Let's just be honest, yo. We, we really got to take a look at all the things here. And, and we're going to create different scenarios of how we might you know start troubleshooting certain things to figure out how we're going to get back on our past and um we're going to have to add everything as a whole so you know i'm here i'm giving certain things that i think that we need to go back to as a community of israel if we want to live forever right you know he, he gave us the keys of life the keys of the keys of life to eternal life is knowledge okay excuse me again <laughs> the key to eternal life is knowledge mind you I'm going to tell you like this, right? 
you wonder why I'm coming from a different spirit when I'm here in this room and I'm in this little limelight or whatever. Because there is something here. There is him. This God, he's in. He's in here. This is really my prayer closet. This is why, I'm, like I said, I haven't been here in a long time. And um, so I will use it like a prayer closet. But in reality, it's, it's built for this. Okay? So every moment that I come through with this, you know, the angels, they got to be here with me. They got to be here with me. God, he has to be here with me. He, You know what I'm saying? So I um, I pretty much, um, you know, I set this room aside out of all the rooms that I'm that I'm even going to do in this house. And I'm going to make this one, um, you know, that prayer room, that prayer closet, the one that is supposed to have that anointing. You know what I'm saying? And I pray for that anointing. I know these walls, I don't even have to anoint it with oil. I know it says anoint with oil, my cup run over all that. But look. Our, my my hand, our hands got natural oils in them, dog. You know what I'm saying? For my natural oils to be ointed on this wall, anointed. You know, I'm not the one who's the, the, giving it the power. To, the power comes from Christ. I just asked him to do so. You see what I'm saying? So, um, those are also two good ideas and good things to do at times like this too. And even if you got to bring your whole family in there, create a room in the house where each individual can go to have their solitude time you know what i'm saying and i think everybody should spend even some time in that room every day at least you know whether it's a few minutes for your prayers or whatever the deal is but y'all make that one room and so many prayers go up in that room that room is going to become a very powerful room a very powerful room and prayer is also very powerful as well remember two or three standing in the midst you know he'll be right there we'll be right there christ will be right there and that's the power of christ but think about even the more power of Christ, just like they're bringing it in now, right? The more they bring it in, like I told you, the stronger we'll be and the more demonic they get. But at the same time, even two or three standing in the midst, you can have a strong prayer and it will be like their sixth in the midst. But even though the fact that Christ is in the midst, you're bringing in that, that energy, that power, that power of God. So the more together that we are in the midst, the more together we're in the midst and we're praying and dying. Y'all, y'all just, y'all just, y'all, it's like our people be playing, dog. It's like we almost on to the knowledge, scratching your head, but we didn't really figure it out the way. Well, God's going to squeeze us into that way. But we got to come, we got to come up with the guidelines or the understanding on how we're going to move, you know, once we get together. Because once we get together, we're going to have to start bringing things to the table that we have just learned. Or we just been, you know, pointed out, woken up to, giving the vision to stand the third. So I want, um, and that's why it's good that we do these videos because there's a lot of things that we can revert back to that we can also bring back to the table when it's time to um, substantially structure certain things for, you know, the community of Israel. Now I got to think of it as a bigger picture. We're talking about the community of Israel. This is a big community, you know? Um, so we, we're going to think of it as, you know, as a whole. And there are many tribes in the community of Israel. So... You know, us being the leaders in the community as men, we are the ones that have to going to have to provide these examples in these times. And these times are just, creeping on the hills. So let's gather up as much knowledge as we can. And um, let's just start trying to hit the people now so the word can get spread and we can go ahead and get started. You know what I'm saying? So um, I wanted to think about a couple of things that's, you know, holding us back from our eternal life. Right. Remember, it's... Eh. I ain't really going to do on the keys of the universe journey, but it kind of is. And I feel like anytime I'm going to be in this room, it's going to be something like that because that's just the way he decided to move me. Uh, when I'm downstairs on the green screen, I might disappear on you. I might do a rap video. I might image just some other type Hollywood type time. But right now, it's, it's real talk time. You know what I'm saying? It's real talk with your boy Don Kaluminai. I already know you like that. <laughs> you feel me? But, um, yeah, so I think that um, we're missing a couple of things that are added pretty much like elements to our life, man, and things that we need to do. We need to get connected back with with the ground. Um, I don't know if it's going to take us sleeping on the ground or what, but we need to be closer to the ground. Um, whether we walk outside with no shoes on again and stuff like that or whatever, or just having those periods of time when you're. You know, when you're, I don't know, it's not like you have to do it all day long. I'm just saying, you know, we should practice going back to our, 
our heritage. If we could just live that life, live that example. We starting to hear the stories now. We know what we're supposed to be eating. We know what we're supposed to be drinking. Um, these things will help us get back into that form where we literally become to change from mortality to immortality. You know what I'm saying? To immortality. It's a reason why they've been oppressing us. It's a reason why they've been feeding us pork. Everything that they try to do to us, that they try to squeeze and feed into our community, we got to start realizing, all right, you know what? Hmm, maybe these are the things that's been keeping us in bondage. Our bondage is not being able to live forever, for the most part. And if this is the end of the story for our people, man, come on. Like, we, we really going to have to get it together this time because... There ain't going to be no more times and no more times for our peoples. See what I'm saying? So, you know, we see the signs of the times and that's why we're we're moving. You know what I'm saying? That preparation like the ant last breed speaks of a lot. So we want to do we want to do like that. Prepare like the ant. And what I would say is um, little by little steady. You ever watch the ant move and work? I did. <laughs> I'm the type of nigga that do stuff like that. I know I'm mean, I mean, and I don't even mess with them. I just watch them, and I, I actually admire every time. Like the name of my crib, like man, I want to kill him. But guess what? I'm getting ready to show you the factory, and I'm gonna do it all at once. But I'm gonna put this stuff down called terror, right? And they believe that it's a food supply, so they start running that joint back to the queen immediately. See these worker ants? They don't stop for nothing. You know, they'll go and they'll feed the, the queen the joint. The queen will die off. They'll realize that they'll all keep dying knowing that that's what killed it. And they'll just keep doing that job until they're all dead. That's what I realized about the worker ants. <laughs> and, and the thing was, listen, they move little by little. Sometimes they got um, held up in each other way, but they never stopped to take time. You never saw one fight. You never saw them fight. They don't fight on the job, dog. <laughs> Watch some ants, bro. They don't fight on the job, right? When it's they might fight on if it ain't nothing going down. Like if it's over a piece of bread and they eating right there. But once they get the moving that joint to the queen and you see a line going up and then a line coming back, they at work. They at work. And, they, and, I, and I believe I feel like I seen I seen like <laughs> I seen like six ants like wreaking havoc on one ant because i guess the uh, one ant wasn't doing his job or something but see it wasn't like one boss that checked the ant it was like six ants and they didn't even take that much time to get his ass straight and they got back to they just all the six dudes just split back up boom six ants whatever <laughs> they just split back up and um they stayed consistent um we we, 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 you could take a lot of uh, lessons from that, but remember, they're ants, we're people, okay? We will get we get tired, you feel me? In the ants, the ants world, they could live so many more times, their their weight, we can't do stuff like that. So, you got to think about the even the way that an ant is built in their world, okay? They're like, they're built for that, you feel what I'm saying? Um, us, on the other hand, we're built for certain things, but what you could take from the ant, being though it's so small. They, um, and having smaller brains than a, a person and them working better than humans can at a time, they could kill their queen and they still know, oh my gosh, we lost this or we lost the biggest, you know what I mean, valuable person of our clan, whether it was their president or their queen, they lost that person and they were still working till their death. They was working until their death. So, um, and I didn't see 75 year old men out there working on a moving truck. And I was like, dang, <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, I'm at that time, like half the age or probably almost half the age. And I'm like, man, I ain't got time for this. But I'm like, well, it's just showing you where the bar is set. If you want to be that, you understand what I'm saying? If you can see that goal, that's where the bar is set. If that's what you want to be, you're going to have to achieve that you're gonna have to put in a lot of work for, for the most part and you're gonna have to be patient because it's a um it's a living progress beyond a work in progress look life is work after that it's a living progress that means you're gonna be working for the rest of your life for the most part if you're a man and if you're a woman you're gonna be working the rest of your life too because our jobs as human beings are many duties See what I'm saying? You rather, you think that I'm just very sticky to a pharmacy or a career doctor position or whatever. No, our job come with many things. It wouldn't matter if you was working for 
a career field in this industry of work in the United States or whatever the fact, or you was a house mom or, you know what I'm saying, or if you was a role model as a father and you're doing certain things, that's still jobs. Those are still jobs. It's your responsibilities. Responsibilities are also jobs. If you have a responsibility to take care of, you have a job to take care of. That's your job. That's your responsibility, right? So we tie in these things as two, but we gotta have to start looking at it that way because people are gonna have to get back to their jobs, their responsibilities as humans. What happens when you don't have these uh, necessary um, uh, work environments that was provided by Babylon, right? Then, then what are you going to do? Then, then what who you work for? What do you work? How do you get paid? Right? Well, you can take that all on your own. You go back to your own form set and like that love economy, the love economy, the time economy. You know, if I put in time to you, you put in time to me for my skill. We trade, we borrow the trade of skills. You know what I'm saying? My hour for your hour. What you do? You feel what I'm saying? Now, now you gotta, you gotta understand that some things are more valuable. Like, you know, labor is, 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 is very much more valuable than, um, than a, say like a, uh, a verbal or a watch position. So it's like, okay, you know, you might have to pay double or something like this, double the time for these things, but we got to make it work to where we don't have to utilize money. You know what I'm saying? And that's just as simple as that. And it goes, um, it, it goes back to, uh, you know, like the trading type of time, you know what I mean? Like the World Trade Center, because before this, they were just trading things and stuff like that. And all the people had IOUs and it was getting that money all, you know, sucked dry from the Federal Reserve Bank, which had an unlimited amount of money. Until we just kept going deeper and deeper and deeper to this invisible debt. You understand what I'm saying? Meanwhile, they get all this money off the hard working backs of the people all times. And anything, anytime they want, they just raise gas prices, tax, milk, anything they want. You see what I'm saying? Get that money back. Meanwhile, they already living off everybody's social security or start you as a business in America. Right? Boom. You see what I'm saying? Now, I ain't gonna go into those things, but if we wanna talk business, we wanna talk about that in another room. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't say another realm. I said another room, which is pretty much damn near like another realm. You feel me? Because when I'm in here, it's business, baby. It's the Lord's work. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and like I said, I still ain't fully set up. Um, had some complications with my one of my devices over here because I got I got TVs back here and I also got TVs all up here and stuff like that that I can see. And um, there, that one device is down, all of them down. So, you know, got the lights back. Yo, you feel me? Got the, um, the, the just a lot of this stuff. That I gotta order another um, one of those devices. I don't even know what it's called. It's like a switcher or something like that. An HDMI switcher. It runs like one HDMI to all different boxes and all the different um, TVs and stuff like that and monitors that are HDMI. So um, yeah, so you know, you know, it, it's it is what it is, man. It'd be cool to see it back up in the works and everything. But uh, I just had a fall, uh, a ball, you know, you know, on that green screen. I mean, it's just awesome. Like, you know what I'm saying? To be able to, uh, you know, live out your dream, you know, and in 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 living out your dream, it doesn't come with how many people's watching you, dog. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I've been living out my dream for 21 years now. You hear me? And I'm still having fun doing this. It don't matter to me how many people's watching, bro. I'm just living my dream. You feel me? So... You know, whether, whether it's going to be a time one day where, you know, people get to see my dream on a mass level, you know what I mean? Great. But um, it's still my dream, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still going to be living that. And that's still my job for the most part to do what I'm doing, you know? And um, so, like I said, when I'm, when I'm downstairs in, in the basement, um, it's like on that screen, I'm telling you, it's, it's just something different, man. I swear to you, like... You gotta know, <clears throat> and I know, I know that I know that people who are out here <coughs> making a test. What I'm saying, the people who got studios and stuff like that. But when you take that time and you build that thing for what you want to do for God, and then you just start working in it, you could feel the difference. You could feel the presence. You could feel the energy. You could feel everything. That's why I say, you know what? Today I gotta come here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to y'all again. But um, we're gonna we're gonna bring it a little bit back down to earth though. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? Cause you know, you know, your boy got a habit of, <sighs> bro. I'm telling you, I take off, bro. I, I told you before, y'all might see me turn into a ball of fire on the camera, my nigga, like, <laughs> like a real ball of fire, bro. Like, you feel me? But um, but yeah, though, it's just um, it's just a blessing to be able to um, 
think out and live out your dreams in the things that you're doing and with the green screen comes that as reality the matrix you know you know you know what's the best way to live out your dream versus creating it and just making it like a movie you know most of most of life is about entertainment anyway every every time you turn around people got a camera on some type of tv something that is visualized you dig what i'm saying and um they get enjoyment out of that and it creates times and, and emotions and periods and you know sometimes like your little fantasy worlds or whatever i mean better than that than hard drugs right <laughs> so um i can create my own so if there's something that that I got a thought of that, that I'm like, you know, I want this, I want y'all to see what I see or I got a vision. Dog, I can literally go in my basement and create that. You know what I'm saying? And and, and it may not be on a Hollywood level. Who cares? You know what I mean? It's, it's on my level. My level is still my dream. So I don't care who projects it out there. If I'm the one doing it and it's coming with a little amazing t- material, obviously which gets better bro i only been doing this for not even that long i really got a camera that's coming too um for that because it's going to um it's going to give me more detail when it comes to um outlining the uh image of me the clarity of me my body movement stuff like that because sometimes when you do too fast movements you see this little green line all this down the dirt um higher quality higher megapixels they fix all that because it gives it more data so i got this different camera that i'm getting ready to get um it's a sony a7 or something like that a7 two or three one of them but um that camera's actually been used to shoot uh about three or four movies at in hollywood box office joints that we've seen and it's, it's an actual nice camera you know what i'm saying it's like one of the ones on the low that you know on a real low low that if you apply certain settings to it it can really give you that boom movie look and uh mind you i'm just i already got enough for the show you know and um and I ain't talking about this show. This is the podcast. But I'm talking about the um, Clone and Cloak show. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. It looks like um, it looks like something that you would you would see, like on um. I mean, I would even say, I swear to up. I would even say like Disney Channel or Nickelodeon. And I had to say that because I got to give you the imagery of what it's like. The like the real background look like because they don't really get into all that. But it's good enough to substantiate your point of what you're trying to get to so we do homeboys out of space on some type of time like that dog you see the real images of flying we flying through the space in the ufo that get a little bit more crazy than that you know it's a little more universal studio out but um it's cool too because um i can create all these little vr effects that when you put a vr on you get a little bit more of the experience that i'm trying to give y'all you feel me so it's also designed for that too so that's why i had that clip you see me running through and then you see the boom and you see it running through the wave and all that that's when you in the vr it gives you that little that little motion feel that little motion vibe so um i've been adding that a little bit to to some of my stuff in the standard third but you know i think it's just cool to uh, be able to do a lot of that and god bless me to have you know those gifts and those traits to to do those things and that's why i said you know utilize everything we got nowadays to put that out there because you know you know, we, we see we see they doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we got this bust ahead, little bust ahead or something, right? He'll be rapping in his closet, funky armpits, hair with a pick in it. You know what I'm saying? Two pick in his mouth. He got his hand on his balls. He rapping about drugs, something. It's down the third. And this man get 360,000 views or 360,000 likes. You understand what I'm saying? But then you got, you know, people who've been working in the spirit, working in the craft, operating for the Lord for, for years, then, then, then did several things, you understand? You know, they done, they done played their instruments for God. They done made their songs. They done brung a lot of people to, to, to the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Put it in work. They done built certain things to get across to people and things like that, right? And here, and this whole time, all we do is we work, we work, we work, we work. You know, who's really working hard? I think that, you know, God's people, the ones who are dedicated, the ones who, you know, been working for a long time, you know, we the ones that work the hardest because we know that Satan, they don't got put no work in. They don't got to go as hard as we got to go. You, you feel what I'm saying? To um to make it happen besides the fact the world's not oppressing their shoulders for doing what they want to do. They just give them the pedestal and say, here, look, 
We already had this meant for y'all to step on just so you can be able to see above others already. But see, God is shutting all that down. God is shutting all that down. And anybody that came in your life that had a task that was prepared for you, these things is, is, is literally getting ready to come to a screeching halt, uh, a screeching halt, because um, God said he not playing no more. He not playing with his children no more. He knows that y'all got your gifts and your talents and your elevation is ready and you up on some up and up. He know how eager you are to do the job that you want to do. He knows how close that it is that you want to be to him. And he's ready to pull y'all closer. And he's ready to give y'all the manifestation to y'all gifts and y'all your trades and abilities and everything it is. Anyway, it's always some technical difficulties going on. But like I was saying, um, for us, it's going to be a great deal. It's going to be a good thing. And um, we're going to we're going to overcome. We we. You know, just go ahead and look at it as you survived the storm, right? You know, the storm may not be completely over yet, but you know that the worst parts is already out of the way, right? All right. So you just wait till the sun come out and then that's when the journey is going to begin, man. And it's going to be everything that you wish for. You thought it would be in better, a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody really know what is really to, to come but let's talk about how we're going to get there let's talk about you know how we're going to move as israelites the thing we should do i feel like if we get back to sleeping on beds i mean stop excuse me if we get back to sleeping off the beds off the beds um to where we're back on the ground and our body is more aligned up and straight you know, I just, I, I just, I just, I've been hearing a lot of things and it's just been, it's been, you know, you know, sometimes you hear this, it may be one thing here, one thing there. I've been having a lot of jabs that just been hitting me, tackling things out of everywhere that I've been seeing over social media and everything, right? So I have really has a feeling that it has something to do with it. You know, what we eat, everything like that. You feel me? Having that H3 in you most vegetables and fruits they already have that there was a guy that i saw today i said he didn't uh he didn't never drink water he didn't drink no water but he was just eating fruits and this that and the third well you know because the vegetables are made of 80 percent water everything is water for the, for the most part you know what i'm saying um they have that that hydrogen in there and um i don't know what it, i don't know what it is about having the hydrogen part of the element in the water uh, that we need in our in our body right but then you would have certain things that you know your body would be ran off of pretty much hydrogen water you know which is i feel like it's more cleaner for our spirit more in tune with 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 our world in our universe and our you know what i'm saying in our nature as people and a lot of things animals grass trees the air you know what i'm saying just certain things man like we gotta become back to our natural elements and the only way we're gonna do that is if we get off of their scientific supply they've been tampering with a lot of this and i, and I think that i think i did say that in that last video i don't think that was in the part two i think it was in the part one um you know when i was saying um i think that they've been poisoning our water poisoning our food you know to also you know keep us down to unchannel that energy that we have with the creator with christ and the suppression you know the, the negative energy which you know that that's a very strong bondage is a very strong bondage because you know when you're not happy you know you're not in the mood really for elevation you know what i'm saying like if you're genuinely not happy right something bad could have just happened to you right it wouldn't matter if you won fifty thousand dollars at the lottery and somebody just handed it to you you know the emotions where, where's the happiness at or is it gonna arise is it gonna manifest no you, so you see what i'm saying and it, it depends on how sad you are it depends on the occasion right so you can see how effective you know oppression would be and could be you know the, the type of things we had to see happen to our children and, you know what i'm saying and then had to live your life out like that it was literally no room for growth it was once once they once they had us by, by our tails there was no room for growth because he was unhappy every single day 
You know, you were struggling. You, you, they were living in fear. They were living in sadness. These are some of the things that the spirit of God is not going to be able to uh, manifest through. I'm sorry. It's just not. So if you fear you're not of God, if you have sadness, you have not getting rid of the, uh, you have not left the world behind. You know, you gotta, you gotta leave the world behind. And I'm trying to think of the script. I'm trying to think of the scripture that says this. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like that leave the world behind should be a scripture. <laughs> you feel me? But, um, because it's for real. It's, it's really, and I'm telling you right now, like, it's a big part of the play if you want to be successful out of, in getting out the way. You know what I mean? Why? Because the, the enemy is not going to have anything to utilize. He can't juggle your emotions. He can't use your family. He can't use your friends. He can't leave your, use your loved ones. This is why the Bible says, if anyone loves mother, father, sister, brother more than me, you're not a worthy of me. But to take that a step further, if you love husband and wife more than me, then you're not worthy of me either or whoever else the, for the uh, fact matter, right? So, therefore, you can't have that much care. You can't have that care held higher than the Lord's standards because the standards is for you to love him first and anything else is beneath him. He's a jealous guy. And he'll make sure that, you know, he'll get your attention if you're doing too much. If you if, he, if he's calling for something and you, if you're allowing people to take that time away from him, you know what I'm saying? Well, he'll just completely just remove that person, dog. You know what I'm saying? You know, and if that person was out to destroy you, he might just destroy that person too, for real. So I'm just, I'm just keeping it a buck, man. I'm keeping it a buck. I know I like to say a thousand, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stick down and down to earth, all right? Because when I say a thousand, I'm gonna talk on a thousand. We on that, right? But uh, that's just average ish that everybody should know. Right? You feel me? Everybody can't keep it on a thousand, but I can keep it a hundred with y'all. Everybody should be able to understand that. All right. After another take, after another take. There we go. There we go. There we go. So um, I was just speaking on how we're going back to certain things. Right. So I was going to say another thing. I feel like we got to stop wearing um, clothes and that have different um like um, symbols so we got to start checking these symbols just as well as you check for the food and the, the things that are on the back of the products you want to make sure that you got healthy things going in your body but at the same time you want to make sure that you're presenting healthy things on the outside of the body as well that is include and the bible saying don't don't ink yourself for a reason right but see People don't even probably even understand why that is for the most part, because you putting stuff on you, you, you know, you're you're wearing the entity of what you what you what you attach to yourself. And I think that they can get a little further than that, because now, regardless, if you got six, six, six tatted on your body, if you wearing a, a shirt that says six, 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 now you're walking around with that whole entity. Dog. You see what I'm saying? The difference between that shirt and a tat, you can remove the shirt. You see what I'm saying? You can remove the shirt and you don't have to be physically attached to that entity, right? And only God knows what some of these people are going to put on them, right? So things like that, we shouldn't be doing. I'm going to tell you like this. If you want to live as an immortal, if you want to live in your spiritual powers, if you want to live with Christ, right? Remember, you will be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right? Whose responsibility is it going to be to, re to renew your mind? Whose responsibility is that, y'all? Let me turn it up a bit. So, yeah, it's going to be our responsibility to renew our minds through reading up on the word, edifying ourselves, keeping our spirit open. You see what I'm saying? Search and you shall find. You first seek, search, you search the kingdom of God first, and then all things will be added unto you. You see what I'm saying? So, this is what we're going to do. We got to search for the information to find out how that's going to place us in the kingdom stance living. That gives us our kingmanship, our eternal past, our eternal life. Why? It's through obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You know what you'll be sacrificing if you didn't be obedient in this instance? You'd be a sacrifice. You'd be you be sacrificing your eternal life 
So basically, just by being, that's the reason why that the wages of sin is death. Because you already sacrificed your eternal life through disobedience. He told you that obedience was better than sacrifice. He just didn't tell you what you was going to be sacrificing. But I'm telling you right now, that's the biggest sacrifice you could sacrifice. So why don't we just start there when they talk about everything? huh? You feel what I'm saying? So how much more important is it for you to be obedient now? Everybody say they want to live in heaven. Y'all think God is going to get good. Oh, God's coming to get us. Y'all think it's that damn easy that you're supposed to just sit here and wait for him to come like he's some damn dart bus. That, that ain't the way this happens, Captain. You going to have to put in work. Why? Because in part of getting heaven is working. You're going to have to make it heaven, dog. And then it will become. I mean, bro, like, there's a reason why he wants to work on all of our gifts right now. We're still here. We ain't in heaven. Okay. Well, guess what? It's these very things that's going to bring us in. It's going to usher that it's going to bring him in. Why? The, the spirit of our praise, right? It's him. The more we praise him, it's doing more than what CERN can do. We all rushing them in at the same time. But see, the only thing that we're really up against in this world is devils, the people. They can't beat these forces. The, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we for we wrestle not against principalities. I mean, for against flesh, but for principalities and wickedness in high places, right? That would be Satan. And any, anybody who's in a satanic room, which is these devils, the people, you know what I mean? I mean, a fly ain't got Satan in it, a bird don't got it in it. You ain't seen a demon, you ain't seen a snake talk to you. So the last thing left that we actually technically, biologically, spiritually, physically dealing with is people, devils, you feel me? And it's their spirit is channeled from that energy. So, uh... You know, we're gonna be in the midst of a lot of things right now. We're gonna over, we're over gonna, we're gonna overdo the evilness and the wickedness that they're trying to bring in on this planet right now. They don't understand that them bringing so much of that in. Don't you feel how powerful you're becoming, right? The more evil you see them being, and you feel like, oh, they're bringing so much evil to the earth. But what is it bringing you? Do you feel that? Oh, okay, that's what I thought. And don't worry about what's bringing what. They ain't bringing nothing. Nobody can't bring nothing. The, the power is operated by Christ himself. He the only one giving instructions, permissions, guidelines, orchestrations, anything. You see what I'm saying? He, he, nothing off the satanic side can even move unless he say so. Do you understand that type of time? Do you, you feel, me, feel me? So don't you understand that the people that's cornered right now is not the most highest people? These motherfuckers is in trouble, dog. You feel me? Big trouble. We should know that right now, right? Okay? But somehow, they still got us sitting here worried about our physical realm. Well, if they still got you worried, it was some type of fear, but that's because you chose to stay connected to the ways of the world or connected to the ways that got you stuck in the world. You still stuck in them ways. You still stuck to the world. You still stuck to the world. You still stuck to them ways. I mean, it is what it is. So if you find yourself not being able to let go, not being able to be able to crawl a little bit closer to Christ, well, that's going to be why. Because now you're trying to you're trying to bear the, the weight of the world on your shoulders. Stay tuned. I got a video coming up. It's called Weight of the World. Um, it's a hip hop jump. It's going to be dope. It's already dope. The song's already done. Y'all, 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 y'all. You might love it. I mean. Man, what's this, like, take four or something? Dang. <laughs> anyway, man, way to the world coming. On the way, man. It's going to be a drop near you. Like I was getting ready to say, man, when you hear it, you might start ducking them shots. <laughs> they come in like that. You heard me? They come in like that, though, for real. But, um, yeah, man, so I'm, I'm going to be thinking, man. I'm going to be thinking on, you know, and I'm going to be praying as well because I, 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 want, I, I want some more answers. I want I want the rest of that story that he was giving me when I had my last meet with him. And honestly, I'm telling you, like, I feel kind of bad, I guess, because, like I said, it's been like, it's been like, since that happened, it was like, it's been like six, seven months, man. It's been a minute now, and I haven't really heard 
his voice like that. Like he, I can, he's, I still see him guiding me and this, that, and the third. But I'm talking about talking to me like that, like the voice. Ain't heard it in like six, seven months, man. And uh, I'm just, I'm just waiting for that again, bro. Because the last time I had a ball, but I'm just like, man, like I don't know how I can record this. I don't know how. <laughs> You feel me? Like, I wish I could, bro. I wish I could. I wish I could have captured all that, bro. Had I had, I would have had some, some kind of recorder. You know, they say that people can read people's dreams or something and put it on videos. If there was a possible way that I would have been able to get that, bro. I'm telling you. We, we. And then you know what's crazy? I probably will hit y'all with a boatload of half hour straight that information from God himself. And it still wouldn't go viral. It's crazy. It's almost like, and that's a part of the oppression as well, that they have so many that are of the enemy in the world, covering up things, always getting in the way, doing certain things, orchestrating things. Your whole life has been chosen by them, by them, by the entities of this world, bro. It's been in our way so much for so long. And it's been in our way more than we even knew. Do y'all hear me, y'all? Do y'all hear me? The way we was born, the things we went through, we was not supposed to have been going through that, dog. We wasn't. So now God has given us the opportunity to turn these things around. Would you rather go back and live the life that you wanted? Or would you rather proceed and live an eternal life? Because that's that's the that's the difference between holding on to the world and letting go of the world. You must let go because if you don't, anything that was tied to you or you was tied to that is going down in this world is going to bring you down with it. Don't you understand that? If you can't get past these things, how do you want to live in the kingdom of God? You can't be in the kingdom of God. You can't want this earth, these earthly goods, more than you can want the kingdom of God that you see him getting ready to usher right, you right in your face. How could you want anything else down here knowing that that's what's on the brink to come, right? Right. I want you to understand that it's not just going to come that easy. But we do have to prepare like the ant. But what are we preparing for? We're preparing well, he's preparing a place before us in the present of enemy, but we're preparing that heaven, the heavenly stages. So when we start walking obedient and we do all these things that he asked us to do, right? That's when he said he was going to pour in to this land, that it will return back to the land of milk and honey. I don't think y'all know what that means. I believe. And I don't know where they are. God took those old ancestors put them in a different room because they, they didn't even need to be here or something no more because these people was too evil or something. You dig what I'm saying? So before on the land of Judah, I'm a, I'm envisioning that when he said it was going to return back to the land of milk and honey, I'm guessing when it was the land of milk and honey is around the time where, you know, his Israelite people had those spiritual gifts, those spiritual powers and yeah many of them may have used them for for bad and that's how they failed that's how they lost their powers and then when they lost their power what they was even able to be captured because they disobeyed god when they disobeyed god they lost their powers and then the enemy was able to run amok to this day our people still disobey the most high right just everything the abominable eating habits everything about it and it's just like they could give two f's why is their attitude like this yo do you understand this I, I don't you would tell them you know you know you would tell them the people that they are and the things that they got to do to change it to fix it to become somebody so much more powerful of a being than who they actually ever been living you would be the more powerful being than your person that you've ever seen on this earth. That could be you. But you'd rather sit back and say, I just want to eat lobster, crabs, and shrimp. 
and open my legs to anybody or or or, or run them up or, or you know what i'm saying running the train on women or dipping and dodging this that and the third and having kids with this person and that person everywhere all over right we'd rather live in fornication adultery whoremongering witchcraft you know all these different things idolatry these are the things that his people when he's sitting there like ye are all supposed to be gods but y'all gonna die like men y'all 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 ones right there y'all gonna die like men you know how i'm gonna die not like men why god promised me eternal life so i ain't finna die like no man out here so you said the scripture says you are all gods but you would die like men who who the disobedient ones bro but remember the promises of god is eternal life so who dying the promises of god is only for the people who are obedient to his word who dying they gonna die like men i'm gonna live like a god even if it's a little g i'm gonna live i'm living now nina i ain't planning on dying that, that, that's the whole thing i'm not planning on dying dog because regardless if i left this flesh that's just a transformation process to me he said you be transforming and renewing into the mind right but we can be just transformed renewing into the mind just by having a new body <laughs> just by dying you see what i'm saying so number one i'm not afraid of that because he told us that we had the victory over death so if this body actually quote unquote dies we have victory over death death has been defeated for us if, if we walk in righteousness it's been defeated so we never die simpson you know i mean their bodies may go back to the ground like 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 men and our bodies yes but that's one thing but once we're our, our bodies are transformed we're going to be walking in our spiritual being our spiritual being our spiritual body the real spiritual bodies they don't die they don't die you understand what i'm saying and what we want to do is we want to tap into that our spiritual bodies is somewhere like a, a shell a godly shell walking around somewhere in the dimensions and in the universe is just waiting for you to tap into that mark just just literally just waiting for you to tap and they ain't only having the you know what i'm saying it's about to get cracking up there too you know what i'm saying but it's just they just waiting on you to tap in god is giving us potential he's giving us creativity he's giving us understanding so now at these points when we know what we're going to have end up having to doing and as time progresses more of the story comes together remember now all things come together for the glory of god right okay that means our talents our stories not just us and our energy but him when we come together bro we're gonna we're okay we're gonna manifest our gifts and talents as in this that and the third dog we got more than that right now we talking about gifts and talents dog i'm talking about superpowers bro let's get this little gifts and talents stuff out the way that's just for here dog that's supposed to be too easy right now we're supposed to be doppling in itself but it ain't happening because it ain't enough of us that's actually really tapped in if you know what i mean but it's enough of us that's able to keep the balance with this world and what this got going on right now and still somehow at the end we win with that lesson that few with that being said dog it's a wrap man so we got victory over death we got victory over the demons these devils you see what i'm saying the spiritual wickedness in the high places principalities you know we have victory over these things so till next time it's your boy don Cluminati. peace i love.